Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of The Tom Man Show. Love doing radio. So much fun. This is greatness. Sharing it. Podcast, video, the whole nine yards. Been doing this now in our 13th season. We'll be starting our 14th season here not too long. It kind of blows my mind a little bit. Last week, Allison McClintic was here. Allison's been making some uh, some impressions with people, and she's been uh, she's been a friend for a long, long time. She took a little bit of a siesta with our show, and we uh, brought her back a few months ago, and was so good that I wanted to get her back. Facing your music, and uh, she's a no nonsense. She is one no nonsense lady. Let me tell you that right now. She don't play around. And uh, if you want some good coaching. You want to get a hold of Allison McClinic because she's a she's got a PhD in um, organizational management, and so she is awesome and just incredible talent, incredible talent. Just like my guest today, my brother from another mother, so proud to call him that, Doctor Anthony M. Avellino, M.D. M.B.A. and about seventeen thousand other consonants behind his name. He's got so many degrees; it's just crazy. Anthony M. Avellino, my brother, my friend Tony, professor of neurosurgery. You know, I got to I got to pause here for a second because you know, for his eleventh visit, being a professor of neurosurgery and being a neuro pediatric neurosurgeon, I can't even imagine how hard that job is. I mean, the training you got to go through. I I I know we do some crazy things in life, everybody, but man, I got to tip my hat to my brother because it's like God, that's got to be a tough job. He provides pediatric neurosurgical care at Banner University Medical Center in Tucson, joining us from his studio at his beautiful home, which we did stay at a couple of years ago in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's an active teaching faculty member in the Neurological Surgery Residency Program within the Department of Neurosurgery at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Tucson campus. Dr. Avellino is the director of pediatric neurosurgery because he is the man, the man and is responsible for the overall operations, evaluation, strategic development of the pediatric neurosurgery service. Just if you ever have to use a pediatric neurosurgeon, God bless you. Dr. Avellino was a former NCAA student athlete at Cornell University, active endurance ultra runner. We have talked about that quite a few times, how crazy that all is. Uh, October of 2019 and January 2021. Here's more craziness with Dr. Tony. He's fortunate to be a deckhand on the FV Saga commercial crab fishing boat profiled on Discovery Channel's deadliest catch. And I am not kidding you. And we did an episode where, you know, Tony, I'm, I'm spacing on the, um, uh, oh, Jake. Yeah, well, I don't, exactly. I don't Jake's last name, but that was crazy. That's 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 on the website. Everybody you can go back there. And and Tony has a really excellent book. Excellent book. Excellent book. Finding a purpose. You got to find a purpose in this life. Neurosurgeon's Journey of Hope and Healing was nationally released in 2021. I want to welcome back to the show, as I said, for his 11th visit. Performance living is taking off. Live to give. We're calling this one my brother, Doctor Anthony Avellino. Tony. What's going on, uh, brother? How are you? Uh, hey, Tom. Uh, great to be here. You know, I must say that uh, doing these performance episodes with you has been uh, a fantastic experience is because I often say that that what you do is uh, telling stories on your show and enable people to be their very best is absolutely key, you know, and uh, and your life story and my life story, we actually share similar core values. And, uh, and and I often say, as you go through the journey of life, it's not what you take, it's what you give back. And, and what you and I are trying to really do with these shows is really to get people to form at their highest level. Um, is, is because I know, know that uh, you and I didn't get to be where we are today uh, if we didn't have the trials and tribulations of life. And so, uh, but, but the thing is, it's, uh, it's great to see you. You look very, very slim, you know, oh, you know, your hair is shorter, you know, your arms are stronger, but, but, uh, you look great, you know, Thanks, be, be because I, I remember that, that the last time we actually spoke is you said that, uh, you actually stopped the caffeine. Yes. And that's been going well. And it's been since November. Thank you for remembering that because it's been a, uh, 
an interesting journey. And I turned 65 years old in May and, um, I 65 I, years young. I, exactly. And you know what, growing older and not getting old. And it's just, it's so, it's so awesome. Feels so good. Want to keep doing what we're doing. And so we have, you know, Vanessa, my virtual assistant who loves hearing her name on radio and on the podcast, who's helping so much with our video and our content creation. And so, you know, you got to bring people around you, Tony, to um, help elevate your own game and do the things that you're good at. I was talking about your skill sets with as a pediatric neurosurgeon. I mean, that's, that's big skills. And if you would know more than anyone being a director and all these different positions that you've held in your life about putting people in the right position and giving them the, the, um, the room to grow and prosper. And so you're not micromanaging people. Talk about that for just a second here. I know we'll, we'll talk about uh, the family when we come back from break here in a few minutes, but putting people in the right, in the, in the right position to be successful. I mean, that's the title of today's show kind of live to give, and we're going to talk about provider wellness, the support staff that you encourage and you build around you in, in the healthcare industry. Talk about that a little bit, would you please? I mean, all of the, just all of the things that you've yeah. experienced, please. Yeah. Uh, I would say Tom, that um, I learned more on a crab fishing boat, uh, how to get better in healthcare and how to be an effective team member Uh because I would say that in healthcare, we're sort of I type of people and on a crab boat, it's sort of we. And, uh, and as you develop teams or develop to be your best, you have to leave your ego at the door. Uh, because at the end of the day, as you build teams, you wanna build teams that are unlike yourself. Uh, you you wanna be able to connect at the heart with your team members. You wanna be able to know there's uh, strengths and weaknesses you want to know about their family because i think connecting at the heart and developing uh teams uh individuals that are not like yourself that uh continue to elevate the bar and i would say that uh that elevates everyone's bar uh because at the end of the day it's it's how we can help others be their best and that's where your slides came in, your notes for today's episode. And, you know, we've got a minute to go before we go to break here. So I'm going to carry this through and you can set it up in a second here. But Bruce Arian, football coach Bruce Arian had a video I just stumbled across this week, Tony, talking about how he doesn't want his assistant coaches spending, you know, 18 hours a day in the office. He wants them to not miss out on the games, not miss out on the on the recitals, not miss out on the kids stuff that they're doing because you don't get those days back. You've talked about that in the past. You and I both have experienced this with our children that are growing up and are, they're young adults. Now you got a minute to go talk about that. And then uh, talk a little bit about live to give and what we're going to talk about today, please. As you and I have spoke about be uh, uh, before is, is uh, I often say is in order to perform at your best is I often say is performance equals skill minus interference. And what I mean by that, if you're an elite scholar, elite athlete, uh, elite coach, or elite, whatever you do, you can have all the skill in the world, but if you can't block out your interferences, whatever those interferences is, if you're not mentally well, if you're not happy and satisfied, if you're not doing purposeful work, if you're not in health and relationships, if you're not showing compassion towards yourself, it's really difficult to perform at the highest level. But uh, what, I, what I'm beginning to learn more and more over the last year is serving others is key to having wellness. Leave it there, Tony, because we're going to go to break here. Let me carry this through here and reset everything. Dr. Evelyn, Dr. Tony Evelina is with us today. Anthony Evelino, my brother from another mother, live to give performance living is, is one of our new um, categories and topics on the radio program. Love talking about, because as we are growing older, we want to elevate our performance professionally, personally, across the board. Because if you're doing that, you're doing some things right, and it's all good. Again, Performance Living, Dr. Anthony Avellino is back. Live to give. This is the Tom Nash Show. Easy. We'll come back and talk about Jen and the kids here after I do this read, okay, Tony? Uh, sure. 
we didn't do that in the first and then uh i mean just, we we just got this this is just fun shit let's roll let's just go the second segment of the top match show is sponsored by craig 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 styles mayor prize financial again as i say every episode all of our retirement zone savings are with Ameriprise Financial. Thanks to Craig Styles for managing that. I looked at our I don't look at the portfolio that often because I don't I don't really want to bother myself with it. I got other things to do, but I'd like to see where we're at. And even with the little bit of withdrawals that we take on it, take from it, I should say, excuse me. We still have the same amount and if not a little bit more. So it's like, okay, Craig, keep doing what you're doing because with your Ameriprise financial advisor and ours, Craig Styles, he can help you plan for the life you want today and well into the future. And that's what he's doing for us. With the right financial advisor, life can be ism, be brilliant. Please call Craig at 1 800 528 1355. The local number is 517 483 4893. Craig.styles at ampf.com. Again, email Craig.styles at ampf.com. Offices are located at the new spot, 2651 Coolidge Road, Suite 103, East Lansing, Michigan, 48823. Stations that have carried us in the past, carry us now. Of course, the Michigan Talk Network with over 40 to 50 stations across the state and across the Midwest. Not all are talk, but a lot of them are, and you just never know who's picking us up at that time because everything's automated in radio now. So the Michigan Talk Network, thanks to Stephen Ivy Gruber for carrying us. The Big Stick WJM is the uh, flagship of the Michigan Talk Network, and they blast us out multiple times on weekends all over the place. WJHN 92.1 in Grand Haven carried us first and foremost. I will always mention them. WJRW 1340 in Grand Rapids carried us for a long, long time. WKLQ 1490 in Muskegon, Whitehall. WYPV FM 94.5 way up north in Mackinac City. There's plenty of stations that carry us. Any station I didn't mention, if you want me to include you in this read, send me a note. Send us, go go to the contact box, TomAtShow.com, and send us a note. I'll be happy to do that. And, of course, I would be remiss if I did not say my alma mater, my my the, my home, Michigan State University, AM 870 WKAR, carrying us Sundays at 5. Great slot. Love it, Brad. Thank you for doing what you're doing over there. East Lansing, go green. Let's talk about all oh, of right. that. Go white. Exactly. See, Tony knows that because he was at the <laughs> Craig Styles from Destiny Analytics is our guy. And again, we are making light of weighted decisions as a tagline with Desideri. Desideri, where he actually assisted a student friend of mine, Anya Gerstenberg, with her capstone project for her senior project at Michigan State University. And she did an analysis on Desideri Analytics. She is a math a math major, computer uh computational mathematics, very high level mathematics stuff, talking about the the program of Desiree Analytics. And I'm telling you, the kid got a four point on that. Just, it was wonderful. It's awesome. That's all I got to say about that. Again, thanks to Stephen Ivy Gruber for all that. We we do have our four books on Amazon, that thing called Amazon with Generation Us being the latest and greatest. Okay, Dr. Avellino is back with us today. Tony, my brother from another mother, live to give. Performance living is our new thing that we do with Tony. It's so much fun getting so much better at this thing. And it's just really a springboard, right, Tony? And to helping people understand all of the nuances that are out there with having that higher performance in your life. Before we start talking about our topic today of live to give and provider wellness and serving others and innovation, which that's that's probably three shows in itself right there. We didn't talk in the first segment about the fam. Please talk about Ashley and Michael and, of course, you know, beautiful Jen. Get, get, get everybody caught up on all that. You know how the fam likes to hear their name on podcasts and radio. So please go. And all your friends in mid Michigan, you have so many friends. You guys have deep roots here. Please go ahead. Everybody wants to know how you guys are doing. Yeah, Tom, uh, things have been going great. Uh, I must say that the weather in Arizona has been very hot. Uh, but my son is in Seattle, Washington this summer. Um as you know, he graduated from Okemos High School. His uh, significant other also graduated from um, Okemos High School. So uh, him and his girlfriend of three years have been in Seattle. Uh, he's doing an internship out there. 
Uh, my daughter is fin uh, finished in Arizona State U University. She just moved into a new apartment. Uh, she's going to begin law school at Arizona State U in the fall. And my wife is doing great. Uh, her horse is doing great, Levi. And our two dogs, uh, Parker and Snow, are doing great, too. But uh, but uh, but um, I must say that we were in Seattle, Washington, um, the last week and the weather was absolutely beautiful there you know and uh, uh it reminds me of the weather in the midwest at times it was cool uh it, it was really nice but uh but yes but but that, so how are things with you sandy your wife and uh things are really good Tony. And thanks such? for asking you know sandy's sandy has been um recovering from a little bit of a little bit of health issues earlier this year. She's doing way better. Okay. Um, you know what? One thing that I've been really encouraging her to do, and she's been just picking up her game very much. And I will encourage listeners to think about this because as we are growing older, Sandy had to pick up her game as far as her exercise classes. She's made some new friends at some of these exercise classes she goes to and the fitness and the, the mobility that she's, um, I mean, I, I, and I compliment her and I say, you're, you know what? Your body looks great. I mean, we had, we had some guys over here to help us give us an estimate on some work at the house the other day, Tony. And, um, the, one of the young men, he's in his forties. He said, uh, you know, he was trying to guess how old we were. And he said, well, you guys, you don't, you don't even look like you're 50. He says, what are you in your late forties? And I, and when I told him, when I told him we were both 65 years old, he just about fainted. He was just like, what? And it's all this good living, Tony, all these things I've learned from you and all my doctor friends and Chris Johnson and Matt Johnson and on target living. I mean, performance living is doable. And so, I mean, living to give, that's part of what we do this radio show, Tony, right? I mean, we're giving back to people, this freebie radio program, podcast thing, living to give. I would like you to set up the, the three things that we're going to kind of cover the rest of the show with provider wellness, serving others and innovation, kind of set that up. Why is it important to talk about provider wellness, Tony? Yeah, uh, I often say that in any type of field you're you're in, having uh, wellness is absolutely key. Because uh, as as you and I spoke about in the past, is how does one become elite? Uh, how does one become elite? And uh, we we went through how to train your body, how to train your craft how to train your mind. And that's really about mental health. Um, uh, and, but, but I, but I must say that over the last year, I am beginning to recognize that spiritual health and relationship health and giving back to others, serving others in conjunction with, with healthy mind, healthy body, um is really important but but i think you know when we think about physical health and uh mental health i think serving others plays a really significant role and we'll come back we're going to jump right into that when we come back from break everybody because dr avelino is with us dr tony avelino living to give performance living our new our newest topic our newest category on the show Tony and I came up with this together. We were having so much fun doing radio together and it's just, it's just been blossoming and there's just so much to talk about. There's so many different ways that you can improve your performance in your life. And it doesn't matter how old you are because age is just a number. You're listening to the Tom Man Show. Boom, baby. Let's roll. We're cooling, cooking this thing. I'm going to do the read and then, um, Go right into provider wellness right off the slides, Tony, talking to the camera a little bit. Sure. And um, we'll just let you riff on that. We'll just keep just rolling right on down. And hopefully by the fifth segment, we can get into in innovation. But, uh, you know, we don't have a problem. see, yeah. It's like. We'll man. actually see what transpires. <laughs> <laughs> I got some stats. I'm going to hit you with some stats that I found. And I just, I, I thought okay. it was interesting. So you have to riff a little bit on this, but that'll be, that'll be cool. It'll be, it'll be easy, real easy. Here we go. Let me get my read ready. Yeah. Sounding good. Third segment of the Tom Hatch Show is sponsored by Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Jamie White, White Law. Christine White. 
the, the, the crew behind the crew. Jamie's the man. I mean, he's so good. Sponsor of the Mad Dog Minute with David DeMarco. Love his support and help. White Law PLLC. Let me tell you guys something here. White Law PLLC is where justice meets compassion. White Law is our advocate, your advocate, my advocate in times of need. I called Jamie recently for a friend. He immediately got back to me about this. I needed some advice on some things. You know, mm-hmm. stuff happens in life. Things happen all the time, okay? White Law is your advocate in times of need. Reach out to them. They are here to listen, support, and fight for what you deserve, and that's what you – today's in today's economy – you got to know that your money, if you're going to invest money with a specialist like a pediatric neurosurgeon or a an attorney or a real estate mogul or whatever, you got to know that you're getting that trust and that service. That's what you're going to get with White Law. White Law, White Law, White Law. Please, please call for the, your free, free, free consultation. 517-777-9785. You can go online. They have a great website whitelawpllc.com whitelawpllc.com you can go to the, go to our homepage tommatshow.com and at the bottom of the homepage you can find all of our sponsors and other friends and you can click right on through and get some things taken care of and that is that so again thank you to Jamie and Christine White for what they do for us and we appreciate you and I love talking to Jamie and his stories smart dude MSU uh, alum twice over, and he's just a good dad, a good husband. He's just a great guy. Just like my guest today, Dr. Anthony Avellino, Tony Avellino, my brother from another mother, lived to give. Started talking about provider wellness, and, and we could talk about just everybody's wellness, but provider wellness was something that Tony shot over in his notes for today's episode, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be great. This is awesome. Tony, again, we started to talk about this a little bit about the provider wellness and everything that, you know, you mentioned um, how to become elite and the mental, physical, spiritual aspects of your life. We get caught up. People get caught up and they just, they don't understand that giving back could be one of the best things you could do for your health. Go ahead, Tony, please. I'm going to let you have some time here and just riff on that thing. Go, go for it, brother. Yeah. Uh, like you said, time, uh, it's not just provider wellness. It's uh, it's uh, in any type of work that one does is um, uh, having effective wellness, have effective work-life balance is key. Uh, having to find joy in your work, to find happiness in your life. Uh, but I often say that what do we want whatever job that we're doing, we want to provide quality work. We want to be efficient at the work. We want to have input. But at the end of the day, we want to be appreciated. Uh, And that sort of delves into a lot that we're talking about. Over the last year, we've spoken a lot about physical health, mental health. But I think spiritual health and relationship health is really key. And that sort of delves in that whole concept of how we serve others. Cause I often say anything that can decrease one's level of stress and reduces the inflammation in your body and promotes wellness. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I mean, you, in your notes, you talk about provider wellness. Mm-hmm. That it's essential to the triple aim of providing mm-hmm. quality care, improved patient experience and lower costs. Is that doable? Is that something that you work on in your career, Tony, as a director at the at the hospital? You've run many big organizations, but how important is that to yeah. grasp and so people understand that? Yeah, you know, healthcare is such an essential um, area for all of us because without having your health, it's really tough. You know, and so uh, being well, but but I often say is that as we come out of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the burnout rate of physicians prior uh, to the COVID pandemic was about 40%. And if you look at after the COVID pandemic, it's higher. So if you realize that if we have a million physicians in the United States, 
conservatively, if if forty thousand, if forty percent burnout, we we have four hundred thousand physicians that have concerns of burnout, and I truly think that's a public health crisis. But I often say. Uh, in order to really develop the triple aim of medicine, providing the best care, improve patient experience and reducing costs, provider wellness and patient satisfaction are intimately aligned. Because if you don't, if your providers, regardless if they're physicians, nurses, and men staff, if they're not happy and serving others and doing good, they can't provide the very best care. That is so well put because I have found that even my personal physician, who is an awesome guy, he's an athlete, he's an he's a Spartan, Dr. Tom Jameson, his wife is 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 great, Debbie. They've been so helpful to us. But the other thing that's been interesting, Tony, is and and he's in his he's in his early 80s. I mean, he's in tip top he's shape. Young. He's, he's still young. young. Okay, he's still got 25 years to go. And I mean, he he looks it. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> he looks it. It's just the the thing that I found lately though is getting people into these into these clinics to get a primary care physician is hard because a lot of a lot of doctors because of what you're talking about with the burnout is there's they're they're over capacity they can't take new patients and so Dr. Jameson and the the clinic that he's working at now they're really good I've sent a couple of people over there Sandy's got in there over there I got a student there student I mentioned earlier she's she's got an it's challenging talk about that tony about what do people do if they can't find a, a primary care physician they can't get into these i like to think of them as clicks or groups or something but if they're full they're full and if they can't take any more patients what are people going to do yeah tom that's a uh that's a really important question and um Healthcare is changing so rapidly, um, and having access to a primary care physician is getting really tough these days. Because a lot of people aren't are not going into primary care per se, uh, because oftentimes the salaries of primary care versus specialist in medicine are very, very different. And I often say, if you look at the average debt of a medical student coming out of medical school, it's, it's over $190,000. And so if you start out uh, with a 190,000 debt, and if you wanna, um, and after you finish medical school at age, um, at age 26 um, or so, is being a resident, your salaries are not very high. And if you're training for three years or five years, uh, the amount of money that that you make uh, to cover your debt is really tough. And, and I often say that the things that really keep people up at night um, and two of the things protective for provider wellness is one is having the ability to handle debt. Uh, and then two is uh, having a mentor. That's a really good point, Tony. I'm going to carry this through because we're going to come up on break. Having a mentor and mentoring others is mm -hmm. going to help your soul. And again, as we're talking about provider wellness and serving others, we'll come back. We'll continue the thread of serving others. And we'll talk some more about innovation as we go farther into the show. But helping others, serving others, mentoring others, having protégés who look up to you and giving them advice on financial management is incredibly important. I, I can't tell you guys how many students I talk to and I just giving them just little pearls of saving money and how renting is going to never allow you to have any type of est established wealth. So you have to, as we have done with our reality of real estate uh, episodes with Brock Fletcher, we talk about this all the time, Tony, and I'm going to close this segment mm -hmm. here by saying that. Today's episode, everybody, Live to Give. Dr. Anthony Avellino is here. Always a performance living topic and category with Dr. Avellino. It's our specialist right here. Performance living is one of our fun things we like to do. Stick around. We'll be coming right back here. You're listening to The Tom Man Show. Boom. Beautiful. Let's roll. 
three thirty. Sandy just got home. I heard her come in. All right. You want to go to um, the seven points of serving sure. others, Tony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I, uh, I think uh, mentioning the Wonder Drug book is probably key. Okay, I'm going to go yeah. there. Just take yeah. it where yeah. you want. Yeah, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, cool. The fourth segment of the Tom Man Show is sponsored by Brock, 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 Brock Fletcher, selling team of Kelly Williams, another great Spartan. Got Spartans all over the place. Of course, we are all Spartans around here. We don't, yeah, we're not prejudiced against any other universities except for the one down in Ann Arbor. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Don't all you blue people get excited. Just, just, you know how it is. We love you guys down there in Ann Arbor, except for a couple times a year. And then, then we don't, but that's the way it rolls. Brock, Brock Fletcher, the selling team of Keller Williams Realty. Again, full disclosure, Mike Dedman helped us find Little House Lansing and buy it. Brock Fletcher helped us with the story of Big House Holt and how we got rid of that during the pandemic. I mean, talk about stress. Having three mortgages all at one time. Ooh, that was something. Brock helped me get through that one because he trusts he he has the most trust of anything and he told me and I believed in him because I do trust him. Please call Brock today at 517-853-6408-6408 or his cell phone number. This is the big one. 517-303-3262. I'm going to say it again because you can text, you can leave a voicemail, he will get back to you. Use this number. 517 517- 303-3262. You go online to kwsellingteam.com. Sell your home without hassles. Find somebody you can trust, like a Mikey Deadman, like a Brock Fletcher, like all the crew over there. And Brock, another thing that Brock's doing, it, it, and again, he's the subject matter expert for the reality of real estate, so you find all those episodes, like 15 or 20 of them on our website. Go for it. If you've got questions on real estate, if you're on the fence with real estate, if you're looking to relocate, looking to downsize, upsize, whatever you're going to do, the selling team of Keller Williams is the way to go. That's that's it. Brock Fletcher is the guy. Again, let me give you that phone number one more time. 517-303-3262. Tell him Tommy sent you. He knows that came from radio because my radio friends call me Tommy, and that's all good in the hood. Sell your home without hassles. Buy your home without hassles. That's the way it goes. Brock is the man. Dr. Anthony Avellino is my guest today. Performance living is our topic with Dr. Avellino is with us. We talk about all kinds of things related to having a higher performing life. I mean, there's just a million different ways we can go with this stuff. Tony, we're going to talk about this, the proven ways to serve others. You've got some really interesting, because we talk about this stuff all the time. We just mentioned it earlier in the show, where by giving back to people just by doing radio like this, by taking your time to share, by me taking my time to share with people, it's just, it rewards us. It's intrinsically rewarding. And we're trying to encourage people to do more of this. So talk about that, please. All the sure. proof of ways of serving others is, is can help yourself. Sure. Uh, recently, I, I read this great book called The Wonder Drug. Uh, and it was a book recommended from a, friend of mine about a year ago and I finally had a chance to read it and I must say that uh it's a book by Dr. Treziak and and uh and his colleague Dr. Mazzarelli and in their book they they really break it down into three areas one the diagnosis the di an epidemic of self-serving. Two is the cure, serving others. And then three is seven steps that one can take now. And so if we go through it, uh, you know, if you diagnose wellness, because wellness comes in all different shapes and forms. And, uh, and I have to be careful when I talk about work-life balance, because it's not about working less, it's working more efficiently and being able to say no. Uh, but, but, but in the culture that we're in now, um, it's sort of a me type of culture. And if you live to give, uh, if you give people a sense of belonging to something bigger than 
their selves that feeds their souls. And if you have this relationship mindset, and, and I think you, you can have physical health, you can have mental health, but I think a relationship health and social health is really important. Because the one thing that I think the COVID-19 pandemic has done is created isolation. And I think isolation and loneliness is not very good. Uh, and the second thing that, that they go through in the book is, is how to cure it. And so if you're serving others, uh, because in your body, if you have all this anxiety and stress in the world, you know, you're working hard, you're climbing, 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 you're, you're actually driving down the road and someone, uh, uh, someone goes right in front of you, uh, but 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 it's really um, how one can decrease their systemic inflammation, because I think if you decrease the chronic stress, that decreases the inflammation in your body, and I think you um, begin to feel better. Because uh, Viktor Frankl, one of the um, Holocaust uh, survivors, always uh, said that one's personal dedication to a cause is greater than oneself. Uh, and so that leads us to really the prescription, be, because I, I must say that um, serving others brings a sense of wellness and sense of joy that I don't think people think of. And over the last um, 10 years, it's something that I didn't really think of that much. And, and I think uh, uh, going through it with you, Tom, I think it will be a, a powerful thing for the listeners to sort of take these nuggets of information to see how they can apply it to their life uh, to be their best. I love it. I mean, it's just it's serving others. You have the um, the hormones that are, they, they, they can be ramped up in your body. And you have the endorphins, you have the dopamine, you have the oxytocin, which is the oxytocin, the love hormone. That's the huggy, huggy things, the serotonin. All of these things are derived and they, they work in your brain. And so when you talk about decreasing chronic stress and systemic inflammation, hear, hear all this talk all the time, Tony, but it's like, okay, that's all well and good. But can it really happen if we're helping others? Can we decrease our stress? Have you seen this happen? Yeah, you know, it is I, I I often say that anything that decreases one's level of stress, I think brings more wellness and more happiness. It could be anything. It could be prayer, it could be music therapy, it could be meditation, it could be gardening, it could be reading. Anything that brings you a sense of peace uh and joy is actually really important. How 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 impactful do you think that the technology, we're going to talk about technologies in the next segment, but as far as the personal technologies that we have now with always being connected, uh -huh. do you think that that's adding a significant layer to our stress levels with always being turned on, always having a hand, having a computer in your hand, always look, I mean, I see students all the time. You do too. You have young people around you all the time. I mean, it's sure. It's, I mean, these kids are born with it in their hands. Yeah. Uh, I think the social media, has um has really given kids a sense of isolation and i think have because human beings are social people and having those relationships where you can talk face to face someone uh is actually really important and i think the uh i often say that the uh social media and technology is actually good and bad it's good because it makes your life more efficient uh but it's bad and that it, uh, you don't have that social interaction. You don't have that interaction with people to get their feedback, how their emotions are, how they're feeling, how one reads the room. Uh, and I think those are really important. Society. Certainly. Absolutely. Well said. Now we have about a minute to go before we go to the fifth segment, Tony, and you have a seven step uh, process here that you have in your notes. And I'm not going to, you can kind of start with that and I'll give you the signal when we're coming up on break here, but go ahead, start and give everybody kind of a quick snapshot on the prescription, the seven steps that you want to take to start small and be thankful. I like to be thankful a lot. Can you talk about that real quickly? Sure. Uh, the, the seven steps that the wonder drug goes into is one is start small and we can discuss that more 
Uh, but it only takes 16 minutes of your time. It's how you give feedback, how you become, how you connect more, how you do kind acts, how you have more, com have you have more compassion. Two is to be thankful. It, it gets back to what what we uh, discussed before about from from a wellness standpoint. What do people want in their work? They want to provide quality. Uh, work. They want to be efficient. They want to have input. And at the end of the day, they want to be appreciated. Uh, third is how you be, be purposeful in your interactions. Fourth is how to find common ground. Uh, five is how you see it. Six is how to elevate it. And seven is know your power. Perfect. I mean, we were right on the, right on time here. This guy's getting so good at this production stuff. Let's tell you what. We have unleashed the beast that is Dr. Avellino, the radio star. You're listening to the Tom Matt Show, Performance Living with the beast called Dr. Avellino. Live to give. We're going to expand on those seven steps when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us today. Dude, you hit that perfect. I was about ready to, when you were started going, I was like, oh, we're not going to make it. But he did. He, he made it. Like, no, we're going to make it. We're going to make it, man. All right, here we go. This is a uh, plug, plug, plug time. Do you want to plug your book and um, email and phone numbers and all that stuff, Tony? Sure. You got all that handy? Okay, yeah. here we go. Top of the fifth. Round and, round and third. I want to remind everybody, if you want to get a hold of me, you got ideas on topics, you got ideas on guests, send me a note. Contact box on TomMatShow.com works great. Perfect. Email goes directly to Sandy. She will get it to me and away we will go. TomMattShow.com. Again, remember, we, we have all of our, our YouTube is there. All of our TikTok is there. It's, it's the one-stop shopping for us. Dr. Avellino, how would you like people to get a hold of you, my man? Um, tell them, talk about your book, talk about speaking, talk about anything you'd like. Go right ahead, please. Sure. Uh, over the last uh, five years or so is, is as I, uh, tell my story more and more. Uh, I think it's important to give back. Uh, and I often say is no one should ever hit rock bottom like I did. And uh, and there's there's things that one can do to perform at their highest level. Uh, but but as Tom mentioned, I recently wrote a book. It's called Finding Purpose in Neurosurgery Journey of Hope and Healing. My website is findingpurposeavelino.com. You can email me at avelino37 at gmail.com. And I welcome any feedback because uh, the importance of what Tom Matt is doing on his Tom Matt radio show is really uh, uh, is storytelling, uh, giving people information, uh, giving people uh, um, information that they could internalize to make themselves better. Thank you, Tony. That's very, very kind of you to say that. It's a passion play for us, always has been, continuing to learn and to be at this point in my life. That's why I do the videos, why I do the hashtag dad talks while we're going to do some, I'm going to be doing the 65, 35, 45, 55 video series here pretty quick um, just to help people understand that age is just a number and we all go through these planes in life. We have these Four segments of life, as I as I like to say, you have your youth, you have your young adult, you have your middle living, and then you have your superior seniors all the way up to 100 years old. So you, everybody's going to go through these four phases at some point, hopefully. And so we want to try to maximize this. So the seven steps leads us into that path because these seven steps are perfect. And I'm definitely going to be checking out that the Wonder Drug book, Tony. Thank you for that one. Wonder drug, everybody. That's where we're der deriving some of the notes from. But go ahead and expand on the seven steps, Tony. You you, you uh, illustrated that very clearly and articulated that very clearly before we wrapped the, the previous segment. But expand on that a little bit, and then we'll do some talk about some innovation stuff when we'll get as much of that in as we can. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, the prescription 
uh, the seven steps to take now uh, that the Wonder Drug book outlines is one is smart, small. So every day, if you give 60 minutes of your time where you uh, connect more with others, do kind acts, um, showing compassion, selfless service to others is actually key. Like, for example, if you wake up in your morning uh, and if you um, help your spouse and kids out preparing lunch or... Um, or uh, or uh, other there are actually things. Uh, two is be thankful because uh, oftentimes uh, showing appreciation towards someone is is really important. So writing a short thank you note to uh, someone to, to actually show your appreciation. Like after the show, I'll write Tom, Tom, man, that was a great radio show. Uh, thank you for what you do. Uh, third is how you be purposeful, uh, meaning that it's um, what can I do to make your day a little better? What can I do to make your day a little better? And I really uh, think um, and uh, doing some kind acts is key. Uh, in this world, in, in the political climate we're in, it's so black and white. And uh, finding common ground with others is absolutely key. Uh, because we, regardless of if you're on the right or left side of the aisle, we, we all have some common ground. You know, we enjoy seeing the sunset. We all cry. Uh, uh, we all care about our kids, our friends. Uh, next thing, five is see it, uh, because you have to see it to feel it. Six is elevate, because you want to gravitate towards people who do kind things for others and are happy about it. Uh, uh, what, what, I, what the, what I mean by that is just to do things, um, but do things that you're passionate about that brings you purpose and passion is key. And then the last thing is know your power. And, and I think this is important because using your time, talent, and treasure to serve others. For example, last week when my wife were in, uh, Seattle, we, we were working or we were walking around the lake. Um, and we saw this um, homeless person um, that just didn't want to talk, uh, that just wanted to talk. And so my wife and I stopped and we literally spent a half hour with with this uh, person. And after we actually spoke to him, uh, he was like, well, thank you for talking with me. Thank you for listening. And I think what people really need in this world is we need more compassion. We need to uh, we need to use our time to help others. Uh, you know, and then uh, last is, is uh, uh, the book ends with a few quotes. Uh, one of the quotes they use is, you are powerful, be empathetic, compassionate, grateful, caring, and kind are the human beings' greatest strengths. Mm -hmm. um, and then another quote that they uh, mention is, your mind shines brightest when you enlighten others your heart when you encourage others, your soul when you elevate others, and your life when you empower others. And I think that's really powerful. That, I don't think it's really powerful. I know it's really powerful. <laughs> you can empower other people when you can encourage other people, when you can see people make changes in their life. I have seen this. Mm -hmm. I have experienced this. Tony has experienced this. This is a fact. I mean, we're not a couple of spring chickens here. We're, we're, you know, we're growing older adults ourselves. We're both, we're both dads. I'm a papa. Tony will be a papa at some point someday. I mean, when you, when you start to see these things, when you start to experience these things, when you empower others, it is absolutely earth shattering and can change your life so much. Plus it gives you that connection. Just like Tony was talking about with him and Jen talking to the homeless person. They just wanted to talk to someone, Tony, we only got about three or four minutes to go here. And I just wanted to touch on innovation and we'll do a whole show. I promise all the listeners out there, Tony and I will do a whole show on innovation. I'm making a star on it right now. We'll do a whole, we'll do a whole episode on innovation, but Tony on a high altitude, three or four minutes here. What are some of the things, because i got stats I could go into, but I don't think we have enough time to really explore that. What are some of the things you'd like people to know about innovation in healthcare? And I mean, because it's just the pandemic changed everything with telemedicine and all that. There's so much coming. 
Um, is AI going to be helpful or a hindrance? I don't know. I mean, what's your opinion on all of the new tech that's out there? I would say that artificial artificial intelligence and big data science is going to be absolutely key. For example, is uh, Arizona State Yoon Diversity is developing a medical school that has an engineering bent, and and they'll be one of three medical schools in the nation that have this engineering bent and and really integrating engineering and medicine and ai and big data science is really important because i often say when i went to medical school in the 1980s we sort of had a finite set of information that we needed to learn uh, but now 30 years later there is so much information on health regarding uh, immunology cancer treatments cancer biology um, and and really AI and big data science is going to enable the future physicians, the future nurses uh, to sort of sift through that information to provide the very best health care. Well, that's the whole thing. It's like not to have to go to the library and look up things then have just have the search engine do the work for you. I don't think people need to be afraid of it. I think they need to embrace the tools because the tools that are out there. I mean, just quickly, a couple of stats that I got here that I'll share with you guys. That AI and healthcare could save between 5 and 10%. AI healthcare statistics show 90% of nursing tasks will still be performed by humans. But in 2030, by 2030, the market and AI for healthcare is projected to reach $187 billion dollars. By 2026, the market for robot-assisted surgeries may be worth $40 billion. Those are just right off the top of the internet stats that come out here. So you can see how we can ha have a long conversation, and I promise you, you that we will. Tony, let's do a let's do a recap and a close here. Um, what's your takeaway? We've got a minute a minute to go before we got to wrap the show. What's your takeaway from today's? episode which again another solid one serving others was huge learned live to give performance living what's your takeaway from today's episode tony i think in order for someone to perform at the very best having physical health and mental health but that relationship and spiritual health is is key uh because i think giving back uh being kind to people listening spending time with them uh, is a very powerful thing. And I often say that in the healthcare world, uh, sometimes you have to take off your physician hat and just listen because listening can truly save a life. Perfect. Thank you, Tony, for doing that. Getting so good at radio. I can't believe it. If our show fits your business or group's mission, we want to be of service to you through our guests, like a Dr. Avellino topics, issues, please let us know. We're here to serve you and help you. That's the whole point of what we do here with this radio program. If you missed any portion of this radio program, please pick up the podcast. Go to TomMattShow.com and get the podcasters. They're all there, all of them. We're on all of the big carriers, Spotify, Apple, Google, all of them. We're on all of those. Always remember before you can share love with others, you must love yourself first. Thanks again to Dr. Anthony Avellino. He's a hero in my mind. Sandy, Matt, Craig Styles, Brock Fletcher, We've got Jamie White, all the students that we've worked with over the years, many, many, many students. We'll talk to you next weekend, everybody. Have a great week. Go out and ignite your life. Remember, the Tom Matt Show is a production of Boomers Rock Media. We want to bring your story to life. Lastly, I want to say, two lastlies, actually, thank you to Mitch Anderson and to our virtual producer, Vanessa. Thank you so much, everybody. We're out. Boom. Tom, oh, great. Great. Tony, yeah. Yeah. Was it your was mic good. right there? Were you using your microphone? I yes, I was. Why? Did it okay. come through? Because no? I didn't see it. So did oh, you put it put right it here? Oh, it's right there. Okay. I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh. yeah, see it? Like, what's what's Tony doing with the studio? See what oh, I have now? Here we see? go. Look at that bad yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this is a little plug here on the video side of things yeah. for you. Dr. Avellino got with Mitch Anderson, who I just gave the shout out to, who I always give the shout out to. And Mitch helped Tony get dialed in with his audio settings. I knew he, I knew he had it. I just couldn't see it. So it's like, okay, it's, it's right up there. See it. it is. <laughs> and so if you need any assistance with stuff like that, 
of course, I've got a few. I've got a few uh, videos on our YouTube channels about how to do a podcast and all those kind of things. You can find all that stuff there. We're here to serve, Tony. Great to see you, man. We may you're going to make your meeting in plenty of time. And uh, until next time, let's get CC back and we'll talk. No, I really no. want Perfect. to do the next show on strictly just innovation show. Yeah, great. Um, fact. Perfect. Because because that's such Excellent. a massive topic. Sure. And I've got a star next to this one. So it's like, and I'll remember. Sure. So let's just. Let's do it. Months, when we go to do the next one, we'll just talk about innovation. And we could spin that into several, several episodes for sure. Sure. So, sure. Great. All right, all brother. Right, well, Tom, have a wonderful weekend. That was you actually great. Good. Thanks, you man. Tell Jen I said, hey. Yep. And um, we're getting we good. Talk. Okay, brother. Thank you. Yeah. All right. No problem. See you, Tom. Take care. All right. Dr. Anthony Avellino is, he's just a joy to work with. I mean, he's so giving, gives me, gives me, I, I try to maintain my humility with this kind of stuff because it's just a blessing to have a friend like him who's talking so many nice things and saying good things about what we do. But the, the guests make the show. I'm just, a, I'm just here to help spin some stories and get things going. And I want to spin some stories for you and help you get better because I, I learned how to get better from many, many people who helped me get better. And that's the name of the game, everybody. Get better. Just get better a little bit every day. So until next time, I want to tell y'all, I'm Papa Tom. Check out all of our stuff on the website. Go to our YouTube channels. Please subscribe. Do all the good things because that's what's helping keep us going. It helps keep our sponsors making money. And that's the way it works in this business. So we need your help. Please reach out to us. We want to be there to serve you. Until next time, Papa Tom, peace out, everybody. I'm out.